full time at Villa Park then. Aston Villa 2, Lil 1. Um, I'm just glad that we came out of the win tonight. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to say, like, this is definitely the part of the competition where the nerves start to kick in. And it definitely did for me tonight. I mean, you know, it, it does make it hard when your first leg is at home and obviously the second one is away. Um, and in this case, from watching the whole game, seeing how Lil play, uh, the fans loud throughout the game as well. I'm a little bit nervous going there the next game. It would have been nice if we could have won like sort of like three 0 tonight. Um, so we've got that, like a cushion, or even two 0 We've got that cushion. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a really really hard game in that second fixture because you know personally I haven't really watched them play, but I knew they were a good side. Um, but what I witnessed tonight, they they were actually quite a good side. Like their wingers very deadly. Um, all the forwards and everything, they just, just, you know, they've got a lot of pace, a lot of, you know, everyone's basically just fast and everything. Um, and, you know, going 2 0 down, the fans were still cheering them on, fair play to them for that. Um, and yeah, they just, at the end of the day, I think they would have took a 2 1 loss because I didn't, because when you're at home in the next leg, it does make a huge difference. And yeah, I think the nerves definitely are starting to kick in a bit now. Obviously, we have to go away to them next week, so hopefully. Hopefully, it's good news for the Villa. But yeah, talk, talking about the lineup, really happy with the lineup. To be fair, I think it was the right one going into this game. I'm really happy that Duran was on the bench as well after the incident today. So I hope everyone involved in that is okay. Um, and yeah, it was really nice to see the Royals at the game again. Obviously, William and his son watching the game. Obviously, on the European night, it's just what you want to see, don't you? But yeah, I did, as a game, the whole, I thought we played really well, and I think it. The the score scoreline probably doesn't really tell how the game planned out too much. I think if it was like a three one, oh, I think that would have made more sense. Um, you know, set pieces and everything we we are very good at, and even the commentators were giving us a bit of prize. It? But the thing about us, we're great on set pieces. We are crap against um, defending against set pieces. <clears throat> so he does that, you know. It needs sorting out because if there is a, a stat or anything that shows uh, a team in the Premier League who's conceded the most set pieces, we have to be down there, don't we? We have to be because, you know, we've seen it time and time again. Like some of them, like even tonight, it, we could have done better on, on the marking. But, you know, as I said before, it would have been nice to have gone into the next leg, not sort of 2 0 up because we've got that cushion. But, yeah, at the end of the day, the nerves are starting to kick in now. But I didn't. Know, I still have full faith that we'll go there and and get the business done. But but yeah, if I have to give a man a match for today's game, it would have to be Ollie Watkins. I believe he scored his third header in a row for the club, like recently anyway. Um, yeah, he just offers like loads for us. Like his hold the plays, goals, his assists, um, and like you know, it's just it's just grown as a player. And like the fact there's even like a debate whether to take him or Tony to England is just complete and utter bullshit. Like, you've got one guy who's, you know, he's been banned from playing football for, like, eight or so months. He's come back. He's scored, like, two goals. Um, but everyone still wants him because he can offer penalties. That's bullshit. When you got Watkins, who scored, I believe, like, 24 goals in his whole ca campaign this season. Um, and not even mentioning his assists because they're skyrocketing. There's just no debate. You take Watkins all day long. And I, I'm sorry, but if anyone disagrees with that, I don't understand, but yeah, I just have to say, Ollie Watkins, man, I'm actually tonight, and I'm just really happy with his play, and obviously the whole squad's play. Emmy Martinez as well, thought he had an absolutely amazing game. I believe he had three major saves. So, you know, it's just a top-class team, and that's just how it works. So, but yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Ho hopefully, um, the next leg is, is you know, is, 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 hopefully we come out on top, that's all I can say. So yeah, thanks for watching the video of the Villa, the Pride Villa. We'll see you in the next video.